Hi, I'm Mr. V. Today we're going to bisect an angle. And in this applet I've created, there are instructions that you could follow. I'm going to actually walk you through what we do here. We start with angle A, and you use the vertex of an angle to name it. If I use three letters, I would need another point over here on this side so that you would name it with three letters, and the middle letter is the vertex. A is fixed, you can see it's dark, and B I can actually move around. We will do that later on to move it around to show you how it works. I need a point on this other side of angle A that is the same distance from A as B is from A. So I'm going to use my compass tool to measure that distance. It's this far, which is the radius, and I'll put the center at A. And notice when you do the compass tool, it says to select two points for the radius and then the center point. So I selected A, B for my radius and then my center point. And where these two intersect, we'll call that C. Now I need two more points that are the same distance from B as they are from C. So I'm going to use my compass tool and I'll take this same radius, AB, and I'll put my center at B. I'll use that same radius, AB, and I'll put my center at C. And I'm going to mark these two circles with a, with a um, different shape maybe even a different color so that you can see it. Let's see if I do it like this. I think I can do the color here. Make this one pink and this one pink. Where these two circles that I've drawn intersect is a point, and we'll call that point D. So they intersect at A and at D. And we'll construct our polygon using our polygon tool, our quadrilateral A, B, D, C. Notice if you did in in A, B, C, D, it would not be the same polygon. You have to go clockwise or counterclockwise. You start at a point and work your way around. So here we have quadrilateral A, B, C, D. What kind of quadrilateral is that? And you see, I could make it into a square. I could make it into like we had before with the equilateral triangles, two equilateral triangles. This is a rhombus. Why is it a rhombus? Well, my radius is A, B, and in circle B, the radius AB is the same as AD. In circle A, the radius AB is the same as radius AC. And by the, since AC and AB are the same, in circle C, AC has the same radius as AD. By the transitive property, these four sides are all the same. These two sides are the same as these two sides. This is a rhombus, a quadrilateral that is equilateral, or all the equal sides. We'll draw ray AD, and what can you say about these two triangles, ABD and ACD? Notice they have two sides that are the same for both triangles, and this one side, AD, is a common side. It's the same for both of them. So these two triangles are congruent. That is, they have the same shape and size. It means that you can map triangle ABD onto triangle ACD by a reflection. And that means that these two angles are the same. Ray AD bisects angle BAC. It cuts it into two equal angles. And I'll measure that to show you. I'll use my measurement tool to measure CAD, which is approximately 23 degrees, and then DAB, which is also 23 degrees. And if I move this, because it's dynamic, this is dynamic geometry, I can move this around. Now, when we did this before, we had like 30 degrees here, and we made these, this into a, um, originally, when we bisected a segment using two circles that were the same, we ended up with a rhombus, and we ended up with this line that is perpendicular to my original segment. So not only does this cut this angle into two, but it bisects, or cuts into two equal parts, these two segments, and it's perpendicular. But what is more is that now I can move this anywhere along here. I could have done two additional circles with this radius and put it here and at B. And I'll do those in a different color as well so that you can see that they are, um, you know, these two circles are also along the perpendicular bisector of BC. That's the way we originally constructed it. And now I'm doing it with circles that are bisecting the angle. So these 
this angle is bisected by two points that are equidistant from B and C. And that's how we bisect an angle. Good luck and success.